Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? I suppose it was a lot to take in. A devil sought us out, teased us with his help, but he also stared as if we were the banquet, rather than the one on the table. We can't hedge our bets here. Best we decide how to deal with him, if at all. I'll tell you in due course. I just wanted to see how close we are in thinking, first of all. Good, you got there eventually. I know people who work much like our new acquaintance does. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt are sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food, us. Perhaps you didn't. See? Sowing doubt is an old trick. Watch out for it. And for Raphael. That's unexpected. Last I saw you, you were lying in a crucible's worth of blood. An intellect devourer nibbling at your ear. Glad to see my eyes deceive me. I'm Gale. Well met. The very same. A traumatizing experience, if an instructive one. Yes. The ocular penetration by an illithid tab pole, which will end with our souls being snuffed like strands of weave caught in dead magic. Not to mention, you're staring at me like a rashimi at a blackboard. You're no wizard, are you? Hmm, pity. But that'll have to wait. The primary need now is a healer. I take it you recall the insertion of the parasite? Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it'll turn us into mind flayers? A process known as seromorphosis? It is to be avoided. I assume you're no accomplished healer, either. Powerful cleric, maybe? Hmm. Then we'll have to find one. And fast. You and I are in a whole lot of trouble. We need help, and I'm not sure where we'll find it in this wilderness. How about we embark on the quest for a healer together? Most excellent. Then, without further ado, let's be off. Besides, looks like you keep some interesting company. A woman with shadows for eyes, deep as the dark lake. Pleasure, madam. Is it indeed? We'll see.
so, do you have loves waiting for you once this is all over? You know what? That is not the easiest of questions for me to answer. You mean just waiting? Like a lovesick puppy? Short term amusement. That's curious. At the back of the crevice lies a bag covered with spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. your flesh, and pain shoots up your arm and across your back. At the back of the crevice lies a bag covered with spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. Spiders skitter about, more nervous than before. The spiders scatter and you stash the bag. Something clinks among the coins. You know what I really miss about Baldur's Gate? The food. Freshest fish I ever had. I don't care for fish. Red meat. Now, that's a different matter. Rare as can be. Dripping. Unless we find a cure, you won't have any teeth to chew it with soon enough. Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. The pig's dead, my friend. 
Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. The boar seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. And is it dead enough for you? I... It's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. But don't worry. I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now please, let's go. Something's wrong. What are we gonna do, Bray? You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows, marked on their flesh. And something within you stirs in response. Sorry, it's our brother, True Soul Edwin. He's injured, and I... I wasn't thinking. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. The injured man locks eyes with you. The parasite writhes in your head. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna. New recruits. Yours to Shepard. Protect them. Mind the true soul. He will... He... He... Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. A true soul. Thank the Absolute. Edwin! Our brother. He was chosen, like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. What? Are you... Are you testing us? The Absolute is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, Trussel. You don't need me to explain that. A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice, and when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Oh, I like these two. All zeal and no brains. We were looking for fugitives. Survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. But instead of them, Edwin found an oil bear. An angry one. We managed to drag him away, but the beast's claws had already done their work. I told Edwin not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil bear tracks. We don't know what they look like, but... Anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. What? It killed one of us. It killed Edwin. It's an enemy of the Absolute. You're right, sir. The beast must be destroyed. 
The cave is just ahead. It was too much for us before, but... But if you could help us, Trousseau, we may stand a chance. True soul? Absolute? What were they raving on about? Whatever the absolute is, it certainly seems to command a lot of devotion. This could spell trouble. The man is dead, but something shifts beneath his features. A glistening tadpole emerges, slithering up past a sightless eyeball. The same as the creature behind your eye. One squeeze should do it, but you stop short. How could you think of harming something so beautiful, so pure? Your mind is not your own. For reasons you can't explain, you want it to live. It slithers away and vanishes into the undergrowth. Safe. Free. Tadpole's trying to slither away, filthy little monster. Did you feel that? It wasn't us doing the talking. There was a power behind the words the parasite we spoke but it commanded yes for all we know indulging in this power will just hasten our infection spread but we'll need to balance risk against reward any delay could be our last. So, we're blessed true souls, handpicked by the Absolute. Just like their ex-brother, who, by a remarkable coincidence, also had a Mind Flayer worm in his skull. I don't know. I could get used to lesser souls worshipping me. But you're not wrong. We need to do something, and soon. Albert tracks. Its nest must be nearby. That stench. Dead Albert prey, no doubt. Stinking cave. Hardly a place of honor. Yield its contents easily. A wizard sealed this chest. Wasn't an amateur either.
Foco a vida! Foco a vida! supposed to be worth a fortune. <laughs> 